night, ladies and gentlemen. Chat box all blocked out. <clears throat> and we're going to resume the uh, subterranean grind here. I'm way behind on this. I just did the uh, the new content yesterday, and I got the mount for that, so I got I kind of got the urge to uh, to bust these out. <clears throat> this time we're doing the Pride and Acceptance path, which is left path. Do the eye puzzle correctly, and then let Nanamo open the gate uninterrupted. <laughs> Even I didn't open my eye tracker. What's up? I'm doing uh, the subterranean. What's up? What's up, Amy? Am I not supposed to be doing the subterranean? You think you've done this? You did. This is the this is the silky mount farm. This is where you got the big rat from. <laughs> How are you doing this morning, by the way? And I did sleep last night, by the way. Don't yell at me. I got about five hours of sleep. I woke up just wide awake this morning, so. I went and made uh, two fried bologna sandwiches. And uh, now I'm here. Alex started being a whiny punk because I can't give him playtime. What did he do this morning to, to deserve no playtime? Interesting breakfast. It sounded good. Sony site won't load? Oh. Have you ever had uh, fried bologna sandwiches, Amy? <clears throat> I didn't toast the bread, and I didn't have any fresh tomato slices, which really, which would have really brought it together. How do you like your uh, fried bologna sandwiches? Cheese. <clears throat> I did put cheese on it. I put a slice of cheddar cheese and some Miracle Whip and mustard. It's way better with some fresh tomato and the bread toasted, but I didn't feel like doing all that this morning, so... Right back? Alright.
Oh, it just flips him out. I thought it like swap. little andens in here. Welcome back. Alright, so for this one, I guess correctly, on the eye puzzle, and then I, op I let her open the next gate without interrupting her. So blue sack to the right of the north door, and yellow sack in the southeastmost corner. Blue sack to the right of the north door, yellow sack in the southeastmost corner. I got a minion. I did my first run just before going live. Um, 
And I got a table that sells for a decent amount on the flea if it actually sells. How are you feeling this morning? Amy? Probably nap in a couple hours. I probably will too. Like I said, I, I slept for only got <clears throat> I only got five hours of sleep, but I woke up wide awake and just couldn't get back to sleep. So I decided to get up and just get this grind on before other people started waking up, wanting me to do stuff. If you want company, would you want me? Uh, would you want to join me on this? Because you're always welcome to join me. Refreshers. I'm doing this blind, so <laughs> you know. doing all the paths, just like we did last night, but for the old one. I've already done two. One was forever ago when I first unlocked it, and I did one right before I went live. And then I decided that why not get a little stream in while I'm grinding by myself. Sorry, Yoshu, there was never any other way. There was never any other way it could have gone. Also, did you really just now get a pop-up for... Did you really just now get a pop-up for that? I set those rules, like, a while ago. Oh, 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 back in the water. How's your morning going, Yoshu?
chilling suds. Myself there. Did I turn the music down a little bit? I like it loud, but I know it's, it's probably a little loud for stream. So we finished Pride and Acceptance. That was an 800,000 minion I used. Rip. Uh, Amy, did you want to join me? Logging in. Okay, I'll hop in my Discord. So the next path is left. Fail the eye puzzle. Proceed to the next room. Avoiding all cotton spores. And maybe are you having internet issues? Are you stuck in a queue? Got 
two lobby connection disconnects. This says says it's my internet is fine. <clears throat> All right, I'll I'll give it another minute. I can do my uh, retainers while I wait. I don't think these ever actually sell. Sell. Sale. We're at 200. Who knows? Oh, these prices are dropping quick. Prices are dropping. Prices are dropping. Lobby connection server encountered an error. You might want to restart your internet. <clears throat> router and a, a, a little reboot. I genuinely just need to sell this stuff. Like, I'm never gonna sell it. It's <laughs> too bad. That's too bad. That's not too bad. Joining is it happening? Okay. Well, if it starts working again, let me know. I'll just continue on my own for now. So my next two are technically fail the puzzle and then hit all the spores. And then in order, it's hit all the spores and then miss all the spores. I'm going to try to avoid all the spores first, so in case I mess it up, I can just hit them all and then try to do no spores next run. So fail the eye puzzle. Proceed to the dungeon as normal, avoiding all cotton spores. That's the wrong move. Great start. The 
that they discord before somebody pops in and scares the shit out of me later. There we go. This is such a good move. What did you see for diamonds even look like? Oh. Delightful. The other box on my screen, Amy, I saw your text. I'll just reply to it in a second after this fight. Check your phone. I'm just play big man. Come on. So I would bet, Amy, that the Sony site isn't down and it's just your internet being weirdo. Being wacky. Why do I keep dodging that? Oh, it's because of my shield. Maybe? So Colossal Launch flips the barrels over. And FF. You should try you should try restarting your internet. Reboot your router and stuff. That's my professional tech advice. Just 
stuff loads fine, Diablo is fine, weather won't load. Yeah, that definitely seems like a, a reboot kind of situation. I have a corrupted art table. How'd you get over there, Nanamo? Alright. Fail, puzzle, avoid cotton spores. Uh, I have seen fruits like these. Those are, uh... That's that's poke salad, man. That front flip move is so crazy. Alright, so how do we fail this? Do we just choose, like, literally any bags? I assume so, right? Fail puzzle. Proceed through dungeon, avoiding all cotton spores. I now understand what cotton spores means. All y'all come over here. We're gonna play this safe. Gonna reset internet and lay back down for a power nap. All right, I'll probably still be here when you wake up, so have a good nap. That was gonna be way harder than it was. When it says proceed through the dungeon like normal, I thought it was gonna be like a lot more, and they were gonna be like more of an obstacle course instead of just one little one little room there.
the attack animation for that is actually so good. That's pretty neat, actually. It's gonna be the forward one and the left one. I think they'll be all plus. Over here should be safe. starting to get kind of runny. It's very distracting, actually.
Don't flip. Hey. A long awaited nose blow chat. I'll be right back. And we're back. Just that easy. So that was a key memory, which we avoided all the cotton spores. So next we do the last left path for the last time. Fail the puzzle again. Uh, and we hit all the cotton spores after defeating the enemies. Middle, 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 right, right, right. Okay, so I did one of the middle paths before. Warrior's just so good, chat. If you play Final Fantasy and you don't play Warrior, I don't know what you're doing with your life, honestly. Let's throw some Deceiver Diamonds for good luck. How are you? That scared the hell out of me, man. I was so zoned into what I was doing. <laughs> I'm about to die. I'm good, man. How are you doing this morning? Thank you for the subscription, man. I really appreciate that. Scared the hell out of me, though. <laughs> oh. How's stream going for you, buddy? I've been lurking on you here and there. I saw you playing some Overwatch, a little bit of... Actually, I don't remember what else you've been playing. I don't, I don't think I've seen you on Hunt recently. That sound alert was so loud. I mean, I love it. Because you are the best around, but holy shit. Good TBH, the Dino game, the Isle, the Isle. I thought I knew there was something I'd seen you playing recently that wasn't Overwatch. Has absorbed you, but not today. Got Magic: The Gathering until Madden comes online. Is it? Are you playing like the uh, the digital version, like the digital free version? How's your streams been? Honestly, dude, I've been really tired. I've been I've been kind of rarely streaming the last week or so. And then Dev left recently. That's got me all down. 
I miss Dev. It's completely overhauled, bro. I know, I miss Dev and Jube. Dude, I know, man. You know how sad I was? Like, I was already sad that Dev was leaving. And then Jug was like, I mentioned it to Jug. I was like, oh man, you know, Dev's leaving soon. You know, what are we going to do? And then Jug's like, oh, now's probably not a great time to mention that I'm leaving for like two months as well. I think that's genuinely part of what's got me kind of in the dumps. I've been so like tired and just like down lately. I think it's genuinely that Dev and Jug left. I think that's unironically a, a, a decent portion of it. But other than that, the streams have been good. Uh, this is my first Final Fantasy XIV stream ever. I really, I don't play this grindy enough to stream it. I usually lounge around on it a lot, so it just wouldn't make good stream content. Um, but I've been killing Final Fantasy VII Remake, dude. Been having a, a ton of fun playing that. It's been really good. They're the only reason I got into streaming a little. I hope they come back soon. Oh yeah, we're glad to hear it, dude. Final Fantasy VII has been very fun. And same, uh, hanging out with Dev really is what kind of inspired me to actually, like, get up and do something with the stream. Instead of just not, you know? I had thought about it before, but I just never really had the inspiration to, to commit to it. Our little guys are growing up, fatty. That kind of hurt. Oh, that kind of hurt more. I genuinely... I genuinely worry about Dev. Because, like, Jug, he's visiting his sister. And I know... That's kind of a... A bad situation. But Dev, like... You know, Dev actually has, like, an uncertain future. That's scary. You make content outside of Twitch? No, nah, man. I haven't. Uh, I haven't committed that hard to it yet. I upload my vods to YouTube, um, but I've not committed to uh, to actually like producing content. I do good. I'm gonna be honest. I do good just to get some streams in. Like I, I have to force myself to have the social energy to stream. Ah. That was almost bad. I know, told Dev, let me know if he needs anything. Yeah, man. I, uh... I'm definitely talking to him when I can. I don't want to bother him too much, because obviously he has a lot on his plate. But yeah, I told him pretty much the same thing. Like, not that there's a lot I can do, but let me know if there's anything that, you know, that I can do. Yeah, I don't leave the house much, so streaming is how I get that personal relation. Same. But also, I have such a low social battery, especially if I'm not really feeling all that great. My social battery is, like, non-existent, man. Um, so there's been days that I literally make myself stream. And, and th that sounds kind of bad, I guess, but the truth of the matter is, is, like, once I start streaming, I have a good time. It's just starting the stream up that is super hard to do sometimes, you know? You might be able to relate, you might not. That's just how I feel. Exactly. Yeah. I'm glad you get it. Like, literally just pressing the start streaming button this morning on this game was kind of hard to do. But here I am. I mean, I'm having a good time. I'm doing, like... And the thing is, is whether I was streaming or not, I would literally be doing this exact same content. So there's no reason to not stream, you know? Like, this was literally my plan this morning, is to get up and just knock out this, this dungeon run thing.
I'm glad you get what I'm saying, though. I don't feel as crazy. <laughs> I've always been that way, though. Like, I, I don't hate, like, going out. But leaving the house, I'm such a homebody, leaving the house is hard. Like, once I get out of the house, I have a good time. But, like, putting my shoes on and getting dressed and getting in the car, that's, like, actually hard to do sometimes. I have a medical condition, so most of the time I wake up in extreme pain and I still stream even though I just want to lay in bed. Dude, that's... that's fucking real. That fucking... I mean, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. I think you've. I think I saw you mention that uh, in dev stream before. All right. So I need to fail the puzzle, which I just did. I need to hit all the cotton spores after defeating all of the enemies. So let's pull these dudes in here. Just pull them back out of here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I thought I remember you saying something in dev chat about it before. Yeah. That's rough, buddy. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope things get better for you. Got any big plans today, fatty? Alright. Fail the puzzle, proceed to the next room, hit all the cotton spores after defeating the enemies. So now we just walk through all these, right? I guess it's just those five. And then this is the last time we have to fight this boss, because this is the last time we do the left path. Just gaming, how about you? Um, well, I'm going to finish this, so I'm probably going to be live for another two or three hours just doing this dungeon over and over again with the different paths to get a new mount. I was thinking about doing another stream tonight, maybe Hunt, maybe Left 4 Dead. I've been playing Left 4 Dead with groceries, been having a ton of fun with it. Maybe some more Final Fantasy VII, I don't know. But I, th I think I want to do another, I want to do a stream with somebody tonight. Play, like, play something together, you know? Left 4 Dead does sound pretty fun. I'll have to see if groceries are available. That is the best. We uh, we played through all of Left 4 Dead 1 the other night together. From start to finish. Um, so I don't know if we would go back to Left 4 Dead 1 and try some of the harder difficulties and do some achievement hunting. Or if we would go straight to just 2 and knock out a bunch of 2 gameplay. I'm not sure. You never answered, uh, are you playing the digital version of Magic the Gathering? Like that free version that you can just download? I played that a little bit. Not a lot. I'm not a big card game person for the most part. A little bit too rich for my blood. Yeah, Magic the Gathering Arena, they overhauled it? What did they change? I haven't played... I haven't played that probably like a year or two. Everything? <laughs> they changed everything. <laughs> Alright. I haven't played in a year or two either. Alright. Yeah, so we're about in the same boat. Complete overhaul. Oh god, oh god, oh god! I was so busy talking to you, I got the mechanics swapped in my head. Uh, that's cool. I, I love when a game gets a reword. Um, 
huge fan. Huge fan of games getting reworked. Especially if they're like still good games, but they're like a little bit older and like literally just touching some stuff up makes it feel like a whole new game. That shit is so sick. That being said, like I said, I'm not a big card game person, so I probably wouldn't play it. Fresh Puff. What is that? Oh boy. Oh. Uh... All right, we know how that works now. Uh, for the record, Fatty, what this is is last card game I played was back in 2005. I played uh, I played Hearthstone kind of on and off when I was uh, when I was in college. Uh, so what this is is this is called a variant dungeon, and depending on the actions you take through the dungeon, uh, the bosses have different mechanics. So there's three paths. You end up fighting the end boss. Uh, oh shit! What look? Hang on a second. Get away from the start casting. Gotta get out of here. I love MTG. What do you mean, oh? Are you talking about Hearthstone or me explaining the dungeon? Uh, but anyways. Uh, depending, there's four paths. There's three paths, middle, left, middle, and right. And then there's different, like, mechanics you can do on the way down each path. There's four different things you can do down each path, and each one gives, like, the end boss, like, a different mechanic. Um, and if you finish all 12 paths, you get a mount. So there's my fourth time fighting this boss this morning. I'm squeaky left, so we gotta get on the right side. play Hearthstone, Fatty? I feel like Hearthstone is one of those things that people... It's like WoW. It's like MMOs, right? Like, if you play Magic the Gathering, you like you wouldn't dare touch Hearthstone because it's a, a delinquents game. Yeah, a little bit of Hearthstone. I can't type. Don't worry, I can't type either. Plus, Groceries is a mod in my chat, and that man cannot type. So we finished a spot in the sunlight. Get out of here. So that's the last time I have to fight uh, that boss. So now I can choose another path. Leave duty. So we can either knock out middle or right next. Never played these games, they look relaxing. It depends what, what kind of content you do. There's like super, super hard content that you have to try really hard to do, and that's not relaxing. Um, most content, like most dungeons, you're not gonna be able to solo like this. This is a special kind of dungeon. See, it's a it's a variant dungeon, you can just queue in by yourself. Uh, and Warrior is self-sufficient enough that I can just heal myself. And, and, and they also deal a good amount of damage, so... I can just blast through it, but I mean, there's definitely, like, it can be a comfort game if that's what you're in for it for.
I think I'm gonna do middle path next, because I've already I did one middle path before. So we gotta fight the final boss after failing the scale puzzle and use the right lever. Put the correct totem on the scales. Click the gnarled statue and then click the gnarled statue. Okay. Also, the music in this in, the, in Final Fantasy XIV is so good. So we're gonna do middle path. We're gonna do middle path, fail the scale puzzle, and use the right lever. Yeah, see, I have a little list. Not that you can read it, but I've got a little list here of uh, of different paths I have to take inside the dungeon to get them out. So we're doing... Get to the scale. Fail the scale, and then use the right switch. Fight the final boss after failing the scale puzzle and use the right lever. The right lever. I hope it means like directionally the right lever and not the correct lever because I don't know which one the correct one is if it means that. Um, this is not what. What I say is this is not necessarily like. A perfect depiction of the gameplay because there are only two of these dungeons in the game so far. They just added one last night with a patch and then this is an older one that I'm working on by myself. If that mattered or not, it doesn't say anything about a bulkhead. Uh, unfortunately, the first boss in this dungeon is always the same, so you end up fighting this guy like 12 times. Fight the final boss after failing the scale puzzle and use the right lever. It doesn't say anything about bulkhead, so I don't know if that actually matters or not, but... The 
pads are cool as hell. Yeah, it's neat. Like I said, it's it's not necessarily a good representation of like the game in full because this is like I said, this is only the second dungeon of this kind that they added. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that I can just do it alone. I don't have to like work with somebody. And then the blue bear, the blue lids explode in a circle like a donut pattern, so I have to stay next to them like this, and the orange ones are just a full circle. Jesus, what the hell? Is he gonna launch those damn balls at me? Yep. Ready now? Uh, and then when he does this colossal launch, he's gonna flip the barrels over, so you wanna go to the orange one instead. Because it flips over to blue. And then he's gonna push that barrel that direction, so this is the only safe spot right here. That button, that was an AoE. Wasted damage, I'm terrible. I'm the worst. My nose is itchy. I gotta take my allergy medicine. Uh oh. Ooh. I was too busy thinking about my itchy ass nose. I forgot about mechanics. out. Take my allergy medicine because my nose is tearing me up right now. Dude, how weird is this, Fatty? I don't know if you're actively paying attention or if you're lurking, but I got some, um, I went down a whole rabbit hole the other day about, like, how toxic sunscreen is for the average person. You hear? Cool. Alright, so I went down a rabbit hole the other day about how, like, sunscreen has benzene in it, which is, like, a, a human carcinogen. Um, and so, what I found was that, uh, allegedly zinc, zinc sunscreen just would be better for you. So I, I bought some zinc sunscreen. And get this, dude. It came with an air freshener, like a car air freshener, that scented like the sunscreen. How weird is that? I was not expecting that. It doesn't smell bad. It smells kind of banana-y. I mean, I'm not a big banana fan personally, but...
They're chopping my damn fingers. I'm expecting to get jumped. Yeah, so sunscreen came with a car air freshener that scented like the sunscreen. It's so weird. I mean, again, it doesn't it doesn't seem to smell bad. I haven't opened it up. It just smells kind of banana-y. I'm not hating on it either. I, I kind of respect it. So, a lot of these things are kind of like context clues. So, like, you can see this banner right here has the fruit on the right. And there's going to be a scale puzzle up ahead where you have to correctly put the stuff on the scale right so the fruit goes on the right side. Um, I actually need to fail it for this path, so... Greetings, gentlemen. So here's the scale. We must balance the scales ere we can proceed. So, like I was saying... So the correct uh, scale puzzle is helmet on the left, the helm of knowledge on the left, and then the fruit on the right. We need to fail this, because we need to fail it, and then using the right lever. Yeah, 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 I do too. And they're, they're, like I said, it's all context clues. Like that banner back there had like, it had like a, their their flag had like a scale of the fruit on the right. Dude, speaking of, speaking of in-game puzzles, Fatty, have you ever played Divinity Original Sin 2? Yes or no? That game is chock full of puzzles, dude. First of all, best RPG game I've ever played in my life. It is so fun. It is so fun. It is so good. It's made by a game called or a game company called Larian Studios. They are making Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 comes out August 3rd. It was supposed to come out like late August. They moved it up. They moved it up. So I'm like two, less than two weeks away from playing this. I am so excited. I'm so excited to play Baldur's Gate 3. You should look into, if not Baldur's Gate 3 that's about to come out, you should look into, uh, you can have sex with bears in Baldur's Gate 3. Yes and no. It's technically a druid companion that you, like, romance and he turns into a bear. I, I know what you're talking about. Uh, but you can't just go around plowing bears from what I know. Um, I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited. I love Divinity Original Sin 2. I've been waiting so long for Baldur's Gate 3. They released it in parts. Now nah, you're plowing bears. I'm not. Yo, speak for yourself, Fatty. Speak for yourself. Um, I'm so excited, man. I cannot wait. Let me tip the scales, which fails the puzzle. I'm so excited for that game, man. You, you mentioning in-game puzzles made me think about that. I'm so freaking ready. Because Divinity Original Sin 2 had all kinds of little puzzles you could solve. Made my buddy scoured every corner of every map until we lit until we did like literally everything we could on each little location, each act. Um, yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 has technically been out, but they're releasing it in acts, and then August 3rd is the full release. Cool as fuck, dude. It's so good. It's oh my god, man. I, you gotta you gotta check out Divinity Original Sin 2. Gotta activate the right lever. Yeah, fail the scale puzzle and use the right lever.
Oh, dude, it's so good. Like, it, it, Divinity Original Sin 2 was by far, is, is by far my favorite RPG game. Um, I cannot wait for Baldur's Gate 3 to come out. I'm going to be streaming the fuck out of that. I already talked to my friend who I played Divinity Original Sin 2 with. I asked him if it's okay if I stream it, because we wanted to play it together for the first time. Um, and some people just don't want to stream, you know? Like, they don't want to be on a stream. And he said it's cool. So I plan on streaming our entire playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. That shit is going to be fire. Uh, so I've not beat this boss. I don't know what he does. So we're, uh... We're gonna we're gonna eyeball this one. What the hell does that mean? What the hell does that mean? Is it AoE up to where he Okay, so it's just an AoE up to where he Up to where he charges and then outside apparently. I'm getting freaking clapped, dude. Yellow. Orange. Red. So he's gonna do up to red. And then as soon as this goes off, I walk inside because he does an outside AoE, right? Yeah. There we go. So he's got sight reading a little bit. Feel it out. Slay the intruder, that's gonna be an AoE that I can't dodge. He's dropping circles. So this is an undodgeable AoE. I bet this gust right here with the arrows pointing up blow me into the air above it. About to get tank busted, that's gonna hurt. I see, I don't know what this means. Is he, I feel like he's gonna do that in like AoE past it. Yep. I was woefully right. here, AoE that way, and then AoE back the other direction. We got this. We got this, dude. Easy money. Crack the code, fatty. Oh, I'm scratching my eye. Stop. What? Okay, that one was a lot. That one was a lot. We got there. That's what matters.
Bird remains. on them. Hulda and Silda is done. And we're gonna get cool loot. Ah, oh, we got a card. We didn't have that. No cool loot though. And this is where it gets a little repetitive because I now have to do that. I've already done one of the middle paths. Well, two now. So I have to do that same exact path twice, but with a different mechanic on the final boss. And a different mechanic on the second boss as well. So it gets, it's a little repetitive, but um, I get a cool mount for it, so. Uh, the mount I get for clearing all the paths is that, that big rat I was fighting. I get that as a mount I can ride around on. It is epic indeed. Um, what inspired me to do this today is actually, they released, like I said, there's two of those out now, those dungeons. This, the one I'm working on now is actually the first one. I just never did it before. I was too lazy. Uh, a friend and I did it yesterday. We, it just came out yesterday. We grinded all of it, and this is the mount we get for doing it, for doing all the paths on that one, which is super cool. I love this thing. So, uh, getting this mount inspired me to, to go back and get that first one. Get right back in, and see, this displays the paths we've completed, so we've got six more. We're halfway through. What did Tongue do? It'd be flapping. It'd be, it'd be flapping a little bit. Alright. Middle path, both of the paths left in the middle path are correct, correctly use the scale, and then click on two different, click on two different statues. The two different statues do two different paths. So we, we beat the first boss, we complete the scale correctly, and then we activate the two different, two different statues on two different runs. Bien. as I won, so that was kind of a waste, but it comes back in like 20 seconds anyways, which is crazy because that buff is super good. A cool loot. And this is where the gators flew out. The Sarcosauruses. I'm sure you know a thing about a Sarcosaurus or two, fatty. Sure, you got plenty of Sarko experience in the aisle. You have no idea. <laughs> do you play as the Sarko, or do you, are you just afraid of them? Do you live in constant fear of water? Afraid. I've seen a little bit of gameplay of uh, of it. I know I know what it's about. I know a thing or two about dinosaurs. 
wonder what the bulkhead does. Like, I would, before the first boss, right, I'd twist it to left or right, or if it even makes a difference. I don't know. Might not matter, like, at all. Dude, the self-heal you're capable of on this class is so crazy. Like, they added these two actions down here. You can choose between different actions to make it more viable to do this stuff solo. I'm not even using the heal all that much. I'm just using the class's regular amount of healing, which is sick. That's why Warrior is so good. Yeah, this right here. I wonder what the difference is. I'm just going to turn it to the right again. Worked last time. Lights just flickered. Dream goes offline, it's just my power. I'm gonna have a roll on brown out or some stupid BS. My allergies are kicking my ass this morning, man. First with my nose, now my eyes are itching. I'm falling apart, fatty. Make some soup. Soup doesn't sound terrible. Honestly. Be a man. I made a. Uh, I made fried bologna sandwiches for breakfast this morning. I haven't had a fried bologna sandwich in. I don't know, like a year and a half, probably. It's over. says it's been three years four months 15 days 12 hours 17 minutes and 45 seconds for me my dude that seems like a really specific number why is that so specific fatty is that did you get like a medical diagnosis that makes you not able to eat fried bologna sandwiches anymore been keeping track of the days. Yeah, I called my wife, won't let me. Won't let you get bologna, dude. Bro, just be a man and get the bologna anyways. You gotta do what you gotta do, my man. Why won't she let you get Maloney? She doesn't have to eat it. Snap, I'm about to get blown up. True. <laughs> that. <laughs> is that. Is that her words? Honey, can I have Maloney? No, you're fat. You're fat, my wife. 
Well, she seems very supportive of you. All these damn pot shirts. I don't need pot shirts. Very. <laughs> no baloney for you. Oh, that's different. We didn't take us this way last time. Yeah, and see, here's the other banner that shows you the helmet. And they have, like, the text, like, call your attention to it. I do love when games have, like, good context clues. Here's that throne when we stopped in before where the Dulahans appeared right here. Sort of beat my butt. Streamer, I found a way to increase your coolness and not get. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best. Thank you for the prime sub, Lucia. I appreciate that, buddy. How you doing this morning? Also. Absolutely correct. Plus 10 coolness points. Absolutely. One of the cool badge. I do need... I do need to make sub badges. I've been toying with some ideas. I'm not sure what I'm gonna go with yet. Okay, Founders. I think you might be, like, one person out from Founders. I think you might be, like, literally one person out from Founders. So, actually unlucky, yes. Like, horribly unlucky. Just the worst timing. Um, but yeah, I've been thinking about sub-badges. I don't know what I want to do. Like, I could model them after my cats. I have uh, two little, like, Persian fur pattern cats. I could make, like, bronze, silver, and gold patterns of them. You know what? You know what my cats look like. I showed you my cats before. My badge is rarer than yours. You know? Actually, Yoshu, you're not wrong. I, there are technically more Founders badges than regular sub badges in my chat right now. Also, Nala's sleeping super peacefully behind me. I was going to pick him up and show you, but he's cocked out, and I don't want to wake him up because he's annoying as hell when he's awake. Alright, so Middle Path, Helm on the left, Fruit on the right. Helm on the left. Fruit on the right. Activate the Scales of Judgment. Alright, Fatty, I'll let you make the next call. I have, to, I have to activate both statues eventually, so I have to do two different runs. But I have to activate one of these two statues. Which one should I do, left or right? that these dudes left all right we'll start with left yoshi what are you gonna do with your newfound cool points dude you got like plus 10 cool points for being a subscriber don't all, all i ask is you don't let that power go to your head Brawled note. What does this say? Rare green stone, malachite, portico green, and yellow sacks atop the rubble. Corner mound of earth. So that, that note is referencing the bags of the pe previous path that we did. You excited for Tarkov TV today? Yoshu, I don't even know what Tarkov TV is. I'm going to be honest, buddy. 
Uh, so you said left, so we're gonna go Statue of Nald first. And then next we gotta do Nald. So we did Nald, next we gotta do Thal. Uh, exact same path otherwise, though. Got an alert now, starting mine up. Alright, buddy, I'll, uh, I'll open up a lurk on you in just a second when I, uh, when I finish this boss fight. After this dungeon? Okay, bet. Let me clap him real quick. It's gonna be the same boss, it's just gonna be a slightly different mechanic. So you don't, you, you don't have to stick around, uh, unless you just want to. I appreciate the company either way. You're saying that's not gonna be like a phenomenally new fight or anything? I want to, BB? Why? You made me blush. about Tarkov TV so I'll update you. Yeah, I mean, if you want to talk to me about it, I don't care. Is, like, do you know what's going to be happening on Tarkov TV today? Like, is there any kind of... any kind of hint as to what they're they're going for? No one knows? Okay. Visage. That's a new mechanic. Okay, so they just do like a line AoE and there's like one safe corner it looks like. Yeah. I wonder if they're gonna like rotate or something. Oh snap, he's blasting me. Gotta get over here. What, uh, what game are you starting up on your stream today, Fatty? You doing more aisle? I glanced over and saw your no one knows message and I thought that was your response to me asking what game you were gonna play <laughs> for like half a second oh snap Stop reading chat, stop reading chat. Uh, I was, but my wife decided to order our groceries in the middle of the time, so probably magic and waiting for Madden to hop on so we can game. Is an event on the server you play on? What kind of events does that game have? Fight Club Comedy Games Olympics. Three adults of any dino, a lot more too. Okay. That game looked alright, it just uh, I don't think I don't think it's my kind of thing. It's something that I could see myself watching somebody play, like while I do something else, but I don't think I could devote like my full attention to it, you know? Or you have to RP. I'm not really big into RP is the thing. I'm not a big RP guy. Orange.
Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's also not a free game, which... <laughs> I'm at a financial point in my life where a game not being free is automatically negative points against it. Plus stupid shit happens to me all the time and people like that. That's, that's fair. He's going all the way to red. Oh, cat made it. Again. Pull them up like origami. Stupid shit happens all the time. People like that. I don't like it, though. I just want to play. I love when stupid shit happens. And, let, like, to clarify, there's a difference between, like, funny stupid shit and, like, enraging stupid shit. I love funny stupid shit. If some goofy stuff happens, that's just a good time, you know? Great eight dark matter. Broke your ankle four times in a row on that game? Jesus, dude. I was annoyed everyone in chat loved it. A win is a win. A win is a win. Wear my gear if I go back in. If your chat loves it, man, I mean, you know, chat gets what chat wants at the end of the day. <laughs> Alright, so last run on the middle path. We got five paths left. Last run on the middle one. Same path, do the scale, except we activate the right statue this time. Is that so? Yo! Brandon! What's up, buddy? Just got home. How was work, buddy? I assume you feel better than you did yesterday. on your chair with you passing out yesterday in your chair I hate doing that shit dude when you're like fighting sleep super hard and you're like like just doing like the like the jerk up thing you know plus you look stupid doing it yeah I mean you just look dumb make was killing you when you woke up I bet man shit slaughter Just doing a little Final Fantasy XIV grind this morning, Brandon. Looking good. Thank you. I assume you need me and not the game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you. 
Let's go. I still don't actually know what happens if you turn this left, but turning it right just opens the horn works. So why would I ever try the left thing, you know? I'll have to tell Honeybun that she missed you in the chat this morning, Brandon. Just to find out? No. I already have to do this 12 times. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, mess it up and have to restart, you know? Absolutely not, just to find out. We got five more runs of this to go through, counting this one. That is a good reason not to. I thought so. I thought so myself, yeah. So here. What are you up to this morning, Brandon? Like, I know you said you just got off of work, but I mean, that's what you got planned. I flip these. Track Mania. <laughs> you know what we should do, Brandon? We should get in a call. Hear me out. This is this is this is this is some Zoomer stream bullshit. We should we should get a Discord call. You should screen share your game, and then I, instead of having the image cover my chat, I do a screen cap of your gameplay while we're hanging out. And I use your screen cap of gameplay over my chat to cover the chat box. And then it's like the subway surfer TikToks, you know? Just saying. So it'll be Final Fantasy, and then like over here on the other side of the screen we'll have Track Mania gameplay. This is the way, see Fatty gets it. Fatty gets it. Do it. Okay, bet. Hop in my Discord on the uh, in the live channel, and I'll be in there after I finish this boss. Oh snap! He's flipping him. I was tipsy thinking about the logistics of the stream. Let's do this. So I'll come to my Discord. What's up, Brandon? Hello? Uh, here, actually, swap to uh, swap to my other Discord. I see. Yeah. So only reason because uh, if a, if a voice call is locked, you have to have like admin permissions to be able to stream your game in it. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah. 
All right, so we're going to add a Would it be media source? Um, probably. And there mm. should be screen screen capture. No, it's not in media there. source. Huh. I don't know. Media sources for like a. Like a local, like a local video file. Um, cat, I, mean, I, but, I could but, literally but just dis I could just display cat, but I, that I'd rather just do like a direct capture, you know. Window yeah, capture. I'll, I'll window capture it. You don't need to hear it or nothing, so that should work. Window. Open up your Trackmania stream. Do this. Let's do a pop out of it. Full screen it. You really can't full screen it though. Why not? Uh, it, it, like it gets rid of my little bar at the bottom. Um. What we do. Pop it out. I think popping it out is the best way to do it. Popping one out is the best. Uh, why is that not working like I want it to? What am I thinking of? Like, how do I do like a custom screen cap? Properties. I have no idea. Hey, good luck, Fatty. I'll uh, I'll, I'll pop a lurk uh, lurk up on you in a second. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Is it storming over there? It's raining a little bit um, this morning, but it wasn't it anything too bad. There's a thunderstorm right now at my house. Might be coming your way. I don't know. Do like this, right? Then we. What is this? What are the properties? We're getting somewhere. Wait, why did that like resize? Hey, <laughs> let's go. Yo, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, I'll pop a lurk on Fatty real quick. It goes uh, to no screen. To gray when I tab out. Why? That's weird. Mm. Why would you have to be tabbed into it? It's still running. Do this. That's technically the full Discord, but if I pull this open, like that. No. That's so lame. That is stupid. Well, I guess that's good enough. <laughs> I don't know what else to try. You ain't gotta have my <laughs> my bad track mania skills off. I kind of love the idea of it though, because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> I understand. I feel like that's just strange that it won't let you. Yes. Hey, move your character. Okay. Good, good shout. Is that kick friend activity? Yeah. <laughs> it would have been tragic. Dude, that's so sad that didn't work. Now it's just a colorful thing. Box. Yeah, it's because uh, it's it's like Final Fantasy streaming courtesy to like cover the chat up. Oh yeah, okay. And that's my chat box. So I just, that's what that's why I was gonna put your stream is just over the chat box instead of the big purple box. It would have been perfect. It would have been perfect. It would have been perfect. But you know what? That's okay. Not everything in life can be perfect. Well, that's not... I do that's wish what I was for. Thunder scared the fuck out of my cat, dude. You are so far ahead of me in this fucking game. In what? Final Fantasy. Well, yeah, I've only been playing it for like 10 years. Holy <laughs> shit. This, this is crazy. What? Everything that you're doing. This is Warrior, I man. Never, yeah, I never got up to that high. Warrior goes crazy. Dude. I just got to the 90 yesterday. What's funny is they give you these two little actions here, and I have like a cure on here in case of emergency, but for the most part, Warrior is so self-sufficient. Yeah. And this this dungeon is just like, it's pretty solo friendly for the most part, but uh, Warrior is so self-sufficient, I'm just healing myself a shit ton without actually having to use the cure. Oh yeah. I was moving my little notepad for notes on what I need to do here. So yeah, so there's two of these kind of dungeons. They're called variant dungeons, and they have like three paths, and then each path has like a, a specific mechanic that if you do a specific mechanic, it like changes like a...
Nala just woke up and just leapt off my bed, sprinted out of the room, and then just sat down right outside. <laughs> um, I don't know what that's about. But, uh, if you do, like, a specific mechanic, it changes a mechanic, uh, at the, on the, like, the end boss. And then if you do all 12 paths, uh, you get a, a mount. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oh. So we're gonna do helm on the left, fruit on the right, tip the scales, activates the teleporter, and then we need to activate the statue on the right once we get in here. That is fucking insane. There's so much. Look, this is my this is my notepad for like the last four pads I have left. There's twelve. <laughs> fucking shit. Have you been doing this since you got yeah, two hours? Yes. Hell yeah. And that wasn't even that didn't even include my first two runs. Uh, Why? They just dropped a new one. Well, so the first the first run I didn't even do today. I did it forever ago when the dungeon first came out, and then just never went back. Uh, um, they released the second variant dungeon yesterday, and Amy and I uh, were on it all day, doing the pads for it. Our first couple runs, we were just guessing on the pads, and then we realized that we were way out of our depth because there was some really hmm. specific shit you had to do. So I looked yeah. it up, and we just knocked out the rest of the pads, and we got this mount right here. Which is like a, a possessed Japanese paper lantern. That's cool. It's actually pretty sick. I'll, I'll hop in it once I finish this run and show you. I. Um, and that inspired me to do this this morning. I woke up at like 5 a.m. and I was just wide awake. So I was like, I guess I'll just uh, get up and do it, you know? Hell yeah. That's a good time. And we're at the last boss. And there is actually loot that drops in here. It's pretty rare to get. For the most part, you get stuff that's just irrelevant, but like you get like these little fireworks. Yeah. Um. Uh, but you can get like furniture and like minions and stuff that I think there's two minions in this in this dungeon. I got one already and I used it and then I got out and realized it sold for like 800,000 gil. Well Not that, I mean, 800,000 is a good amount of gil, but it's not, like, life-changing for me, you know? Oh, yeah. You have been playing for 10 years. I am currently at 46.8 million gil. I was at 50, and then I bought a full level 90 armor set for Warrior that's high quality and a bunch of minions yesterday. Yeah. That I didn't have, so I spent about 3 million-ish. I don't know, Trevor been fucking it up, though. I know, they're way above me. I Alan to got to... More. Alan got to 50 yesterday on his paladin. Uh, and Damn. accepted samurai. So now he's doing his main story as a level 50 samurai. Because samurai just starts at level 50. Yeah. Alright. And then... Trevor is leveling a... Healer. I think he's leveling Scholar. Whoa! Wait, y'all are gonna rotate? You're safe here, right? Because you're gonna go that way? Yeah, okay. Really doubt myself for a second there. literally like fucking three milliseconds off of this author metal. That's so unfortunate. So bummed at the the dang Discord stream wouldn't work. <laughs> There's probably some like specific setting I can like flip to make it to where it doesn't like deload when I tab out. 
Yeah. But I'm just not gonna worry about it live. Makes sense. It was a sick idea though. Zoomer <laughs> gameplay. Appeal to the TikTok brain. <laughs> This fight is also pretty badass. Yeah. It looks cool. He got some pretty cool mechanics to him. Like that AoE you just did is pretty sick looking. Yeah. This is the last time I'm gonna fight him though, because this is the last time I'm doing this specific path. I gotta do the four right path next. Um, which it looks like is gonna be three of the same boss and then a secret boss. For one of the pads. Warrior is so sick. If you if you play a tank in Final Fantasy at any point, I'd recommend you try Warrior out. It is it is by far just like the coolest tank class. Alright. I don't know which side the circle started on. Alright, I'm good. Yep. Goodbye. Alright. I can feel it. There's gonna be a sewer skink minion in this box right here. Alright, let's see it. By the way, I subbed again. I don't know if it shows that stuff. I didn't uh, get a little notification. It shows your subscriber. I don't have I don't have custom subscriber badges yet, so you just have a little star next to your name. Uh, uh when you sub it pops up like a little like share button above the chat. You gotta share it for it to pop up in the chat. Oh, okay. So that's probably why it didn't pop up, but I appreciate it. Fatty resubscribed today, and uh, Yoshu subbed for the first time with his Prime too, as well. Oh shit! It's been a lucrative day. Oh, look at little Prime. <laughs> he can hear you. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, he heard it. <laughs> 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 That's right, pretty good. So... The last middle path is done. Love you. How's Emma doing today? How was work? He asked how was work. Shitty. Damn. Sick. She said shitty. <laughs> he says sick. Uh, this is the minion that I got in there. Sponge. Sponge Silky. 750k. This little guy right here. What the fuck? Well, floating hamster. Oh, this is the mount, by the way. Is he the mount. Oh, shit. All right. And then it's got its custom music, too. I can't hear that one sec. Oh, shit. Right? Right? Dude, that's badass. Alright, so we have four runs left. Those two seem easy enough.
After the first boss, take the lift to the right and kill the drakes from largest to smallest, grab the incense, and once you reach the coffin, use bow, pay respects, victory, and kneel in that order and kill the secret boss. Like, that's... that's... that's what I'm talking about with some, how, like, how specific some of the stuff is. That was just one path. I gotta kill the drakes in order from <laughs> largest to smallest and then go to a coffin and use four emotes in a row. Alright, I don't have enough points for this, but what the fuck is meats back on the menu, boys? Uh, you mean... Looks like meat back on the menu, boys! <laughs> it's, uh, it's a quote from an orc in Lord of the Rings. Oh, alright, that makes sense. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. So it seems like all of all of the path stuff for this path you know, it happens after the first boss. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do that complicated one first. Kill the dragons from largest to smallest. Grab the incense. Go to the coffin. Use four emotes in a row. Kill second. Kill secret boss. Seems easy Shit. enough. Have you? You haven't done the secret boss yet, right? Nope. I have no idea what to expect. No. That'll be cool. That that boss you just saw me beat. Uh. My first run against him, I got hit a bunch because like I didn't know how like the dashing mechanic worked or like the circle mechanic worked. I was just like, "We'll find out." Yep. <laughs> Almost died a couple times. I was like spamming the little heal. Yeah, by the end of that, you didn't look like you was even paying attention, fucking him up. So you learn a boss. It's pretty straightforward most of the time. Unless you're going with some like real in-game content, you gotta super pay attention to. Check this move out. You do like a sick front flip and do a shit ton of damage. It's the uh the fucking Buster dive or whatever. Uh, braver. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> kinda. You know what? It does actually kind of look like that, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, so, for a point of reference, uh, one of the paths that uh, we had to do in that other dungeon was, if it's raining, you face one statue south and one statue east, and then interact with an orb, that opens a second path, and then in that path, there's two different paths you have to do in two different runs, where one where there's a water sprite and you interrupt it from casting the water spell, which puts out lanterns, and then one where you don't interrupt it from casting the water spell. Oh. So, like, super specific. <laughs> How do people even figure this shit out? Well, they're pretty good at giving context clues for a lot of the stuff, but I, I don't know how you're supposed to find out, like, if it's raining. Because I even, I did the statue thing using context clues. I just didn't know it only worked if it was raining. So then we looked uh, it up. Yeah. Watch us, watch us heal. One attack. Back to full, baby. What's about? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> got some uh, orange Hawaiian punch this morning. I'm sipping on. Oh hell yeah! After That's first boss, shit. take the lift to the right. Kill Drakes. After first boss. Unfortunately, the first boss in these are always the same. So for the, the first boss is the same for each path. Like, it's you, you fight the same guy 12 times. But then yeah. left, middle, and right path have, like, a different mechanic. So, like, this guy is on, like, a fucking grate above some sludge. So I'm sure there's going to be, like, some, like, water splashing up through the grate or something. We'll find out. The reek of sewage is overpowering, she says. Uh, yeah. Subterranean shutter. 
just regular AoE. Yep, there it is. So I imagine we just don't stand on the ones that have the water coming up through it. Uh -huh. Let's see how that overlaps with the exploding barrels. Flip. That's the level 90 move you learn. So stoked when I got it. It does so much damage. But it's on like a pretty long cooldown, so. Yeah. So far with that front flip. Yeah, you go pretty far. It takes me. It takes you to whoever you're targeting. A little travel convenience. Oh, there we go. I got hit by one of those. One than both, I reckon. <laughs> I hate that when you like, you like panic and you're like, ah, where do I go? And then you like, you just end up, instead of just eating one AoE, you just get hit by both instead. Yep. <laughs> I feel like that shit used to happen to me when we're playing Jack and Daxter all the time. Or Jack 2 at least. Dude, speaking of Jack and Daxter, but not really, uh, <laughs> I, I kind of got the itching to play some fucking Ratchet and Clank, man. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. The new one's pretty good. Yeah, but it's not... It's probably expensive as hell, so... You wanna borrow my PlayStation? No. No, Give you the okay. game capture card. Nah, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not worried about all that. Rusty winch. We need to take the right lift, right? Take the lift to the right. Yes. I also have all the old ones. Are they all just like PlayStation locked? Yeah, I think so. That's lame. Well, I don't know. The newest one might be on PC. I haven't. I haven't looked. But normally it's just PlayStation. Alright, take the lift to the right, kill the drakes from largest to smallest. Father, mother, brother, sister, baby, it says. Ah. Yep, there they are. Of varying sizes. Hello?
Drake father. Okay, we start with you. You biggest to smallest? Yep, from largest to smallest. So father, father, mother, brother, sister, baby. Baja. Baja. Father, mother, a brother. Sister. Then baby. Hit him with a chainsaw. I love that move. Felt cleave is so good. Right. I've triggered a spell of opening apparently by doing it in the correct order. And it says grab the incense and then once you reach the coffin, use the emotes. Well, I didn't see an incense back there, so I'm gonna assume it's ahead of me. Hope so. This is it right here. This looks like incense. Titan dudes. Do a sick ass rough flip on him. Black. <laughs> Bro, I feel like I get so lucky. It starts raining like as soon as I leave work. I haven't gotten rained on yet. Like me as Inferno. Now we're looking for a coffin. Storage room for ceremonial objects suggests a ceremonial chamber is nearby. It's a big ass coffin, bro. Bro, no kidding. All right, so instead of act, instead of interacting with it, use bow, pay respect, victory pose, and kneel. And now you interact with it? Right path after first boss, take lift to the right, kill Drake's in order, grab incense. Once you reach the coffin, use bow, respect. Maybe I didn't have it selected. Maybe I have to select it because I don't want to interact with it. I feel like that's going to mess it up. So if I just like, okay, now let's do bow, respect. I didn't have it selected, so that's probably why it didn't work. Maybe. V pose. Wait for the animation to finish. Kneel. There we go. And she comes up and lights the incense, and then a secret boss comes out and claps both our damn cheeks. <laughs> oh. Another secret passage. So I think normally I'd interact with that and that would be its own boss. Yeah. But this opened up, which has a bunch of freaking cannons on the outside. Hello? What the fuck? Anybody home? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a big mammoth arming the damn cannons. Yo, it's a Amalja mammoth, man. <laughs> what a unit. The Thorn Knight. That is quite the unit. 
I'm about to get blasted, dude. Now you got it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Built this oversized mammoth, and why does it have those balls of limbs? Yeah, I'm kind of wondering the same thing. Okay, that's just an AoE. Spring to life, so it's gonna activate the cannon mammoths, I imagine. What does that mean? Those are triangle and those are circle. Ah, what? Holy shit. I, I I didn't I didn't take damage. I don't know why I didn't take damage, but I didn't take damage. It looks like it all goes along the lines. Yeah, yeah but it, it, it goes along the grid. In the middle of the square. Well, no. So like the, they they they're on different grids. So I think I was on the triangle side, which doesn't deal damage. Uh -oh. So if I stand like right here, to only get hit by the triangle side. Yeah. Okay. I believe. I believe. Oh god! Only well, you want. Know <laughs> Not even worried about it. Slash, but huh? That was crazy. Okay. Okay. Head shoot, you don't want to kill a man. Oh, I get it. So, what the hell does that mean? I think he's swapping them, but fuck. Okay, I still dodged it. Um, the triangle makes the mammoths attack, and the circle makes the cannons attack. That's why the mammoths are in a triangle and the, the cannons are in a big circle. Yeah. What? What? What the hell does that mean? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yo, hold on now, hold on now. Okay, I got hit by one. We'll take that. I really don't fully understand how this mechanic works right here. All I know is I'm getting hit by it. Or not? World's greatest dodger? I think it just flips them from where they are. Right, but what does that mean? What the hell? I'm getting hit. Alright. You stay in line of one of them hitting you? That wouldn't be for the other one, like the other side. Right, like I get they switch, but like one of them is a is a column and the other one's a cone, so I don't really know like the safe path to avoid that. If you look on the other side, you'll see where it's not touching, it flips at all. So as long as you're somewhere it wasn't touching on the other side, it should be good. I wonder why there's a secret boss, man. This sucks. Dude's kicking my ass. <laughs> Days of glory.
go. For honor. People love that game. I played it a little. I dabbled. I never got super into it. It also broke my RAM stick. I think I've told you that story before, though. Probably. Like, it literally, I was playing it, and it, my computer blue screened, and it made, like, this awful screeching sound, and it wouldn't work until I, uh... Until I pulled one of my RAM sticks out. It literally just completely broke the RAM stick. Fuck. That being said, uh, that is how I learned that RAM sticks often come with a lifetime warranty. I just contacted the manufacturer a couple years later. Like, literally, I didn't know anything about it. And at oh. one point, my friend was like... You did you check and see if there's a manufacturer, like, did you say if there's a warranty on it? And I was like, ah, probably not. It's been, like, years. And he's like, I'm pretty sure they're, like, lifetime. I was like, oh, snap. I, nice. I messaged the manufacturer, and they're like, yeah, just send it to us. We'll replace it. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then the best part is they shipped me a new one before they even got the old one. Like, I shipped it to them, and then my new one was in, like, two days later. Huh. I just, they just had full faith that I wasn't lying to them. I got the triple triad card for that guy. And I never have to come here again. <laughs> All right, secret boss kicked my butt, but we got it done. Three more right path trips. Dude, that was a that was a hell of a boss, man. That was a lot. I think his yeah, his attacks were pretty cool. That was a lot to sight read. That was a lot. The the anytime like the swapping mechanics where they like I have to like picture it in like three D space like swapping around that that I can't. My head hurts trying to do that half the time. <laughs> I just accepted it. I was like, I'm just gonna stand somewhere while I'll only get hit by one AOE. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so right path. We're gonna take the lift to the right again. We're gonna kill the Drakes in order again. We're gonna grab the incense, and then we're just gonna we're gonna burn the incense ourselves at the coffin instead of doing all the emotes. Okay. And that's probably gonna be a completely different boss because that other one was a secret boss. So I gotta I'm gonna sight read this boss again. Sounds like a fun time. That happens fun. I'm not. Is it because I couldn't get your gameplay on screen, Brandon? You feel left yeah. out? Yeah. <laughs> I was actually so stoked to have come up with that and put it into execution. And then it just didn't work because I, like, when I tabbed out of Discord, it just, like, and I know why it did it. It's like to save, uh, to save resources. Yeah, but still. There's probably I if I had to guess I'd say there's like a Discord setting you can you can just turn off to to make that not be a thing. I'll yeah. just have to find it. I'll probably I'll, I'll look after stream. You don't have to. I want to. I. So in the future I can do the same thing. Yeah. camera was um it's not well either way i've got my little like stream preview and stuff up on my other monitor so i'm not even looking at discord yeah Look at 
Yeah. Of course I do. Brian, you trying to come get some chicken alfredo for breakfast? I just made myself two fried bologna sandwiches for breakfast. Oh, snap. <laughs> Which were delicious, but I didn't have any fresh tomato to put on them, so... Not as delicious as they could have been. I haven't had a fried bologna sandwich in like a year and a half. I don't know why this morning, I was just like, man, that shit sounds bomb. Because <laughs> it did. It, I cannot tell a lie. And it was pretty good. Nice slice of cheese, got all melty. <laughs> My dude. Smash on this fucking Alfredo. You're gonna be so good, you're gonna make it like you did last time. Added something other than just the Alfredo stuff. Made it look kind of. Made it not. Made it look dark. I don't remember what you put in it. Yeah. I'll make some Cajun style black and chicken Alfredo. No. Oh my god. That's what it's no. at. Disgusting. Is it because it's spicy, Brandon, you little baby? Yes, it's because it's spicy. Fuck off. You're such a little titty baby, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, not. I just got it. No. What What do you yeah. have against Cajun yeah. style black and chicken Alfredo? I can't do spicy. Right. It's not because I'm a bitch. It's because I don't <laughs> like spicy things. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of sounds like it is absolutely because you're a bitch. No. <laughs> it is. Oh, man. No. <laughs> Every say, man. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, I was just telling Fatty in my chat this morning about Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Nah, wait to play that. <laughs> Damn, I still got hit by that. Comes out August 3rd, man. It's coming up. Hell yeah. I need to get Final Fantasy 16. Um, it. it looks pretty fine, man. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like the combat is uh, very similar to the remake, which I'm down with. Yeah. Um, however, it is super delayed to PC. And, uh, I'm kind of, I'm trying to stay spoiler free on it because I do want to play it eventually. So I don't know if I would, I, I might lurk on your stream if you stream it, but I probably wouldn't like watch, watch yeah. it, you know? I'm probably just gonna get the PS5 version. I mean, if you got a PS5, that's totally fine. I don't yeah. have a PS5. So if I wanted to get it, I'd have to wait for it to come out on PC and then wait for it to be on sale because I don't want to pay like $70 for it. Yeah. All right. The only reason I haven't bought it yet is because I don't want to spend that much. Lift to the right, kill them in order, and then just grab the incense and go to the coffin. Right, lift. Little spiders.
Father, mother, brother, sister, baby. My incense. Are there enemies fighting here? I'd like some ghost spawn or something. Incense burner. Wait. Yeah, grab the incense burner. Kill the boss normally. Perfect. I'm gonna go interact with this big ass coffin. It's gonna be like a zombie zombie emulsion come up out this thing. <laughs> you have to fight him three times. Well, I don't know, because the other thing. I think it might be a different boss, because this is where... So this is the path we've been taking right here. And this is the path, This yeah. is the last path we gotta do two times, like, probably, like, right here, unless it looped back through. Mm -hmm. I guess we just interact with it. Icarus is thumping his head on the side of his tank. Let's see it. Big old daggum dragon skeleton man coming up this coffin. Yep. <laughs> Badass, though. Damn zombie emulsion. Oh, yeah, little stabs on the ground. That's neat. Alright, well, here we go. Send it. Zombie horde could this warrior have endured since the Thorn Dynasty? I would say so, considering we just fought a Thorn boss last time. Infern Well. What the hell does that mean? Ah! Okay. Okay, 
<laughs> oh no, hey. Don't do that shit. Not again. Show of strength, yeah, you an arm wrestle dude. Mm. Yeah, the zombie mud pit we can wrestle in perchance. I have no clue what to make of this sentiment. Okay. Gotta go this way. Hold up. Point that thing at me. Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. I'm actually really enjoying this fight a lot. Got some cool ass mechanics going on. It also looks cool. He also do be looking cool. Oh, don't don't pull me, man. I just said don't do that. Turn that way, then you're gonna swap over there. So I should be safe right here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I can feel my brain expanding, the folds inside increasing. <laughs> oh shit. Activate brain wrinklage. Them damn lasers at me. Front flip for the kill. Sure. All right, here comes the minion. Nope, I got the card. We'll take that. <laughs> Put that in the old deck. So we're done with the the Drake family. Um, we just got two more. We got to go down that same right path, but then we take the lift to the left instead of the lift to the right. Mm -hmm. The blessed spark and the sacred fire. We're at the door blocking the path.
seems like this path is so much simpler. We literally just take the lift to the left and then interact with the door and you choose one of two options instead of having to like do anything in particular. That's not too bad. I try to knock out the more complicated ones first that I could like fuck up, you know? <laughs> yeah. Your alpha metals coming along. They're not. You give up? No. Have you gotten a single one since you joined the call? No. <laughs> <laughs> Man's getting his ass absolutely beat in Trackmania. I need six more author medals and I have them all. Only six more. How close you to the current one? Four milliseconds. I literally just be four milliseconds faster. How hard could it be? Uh, very. Not a four milliseconds isn't even that long, man. Uh huh. Just turn better. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> if I could do that, I would. Reverse a fungal bridge. Mm, mm, mm. Yummy. It is just so good. Started watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood last night. It's all right. I'm watching the dub version though. I usually do sub, but I decided I didn't feel like reading, and I wanted to be able to like listen to it and like kind of passively watch it while doing other stuff. So yeah, I'm copping out and I'm doing dub for that. <laughs> Don't tell anybody though they will uh crucify me. <laughs> Why? People hate dub, man. You know how people are. If you don't do something exactly how they do it, you're doing it wrong and you should be ashamed to yourself. Well yeah, but uh That's only when it's me. I, don't know, I can think of at least six authors that are better than you at Trackmania. Nah. <laughs> just a fluke. No, they just had more time with it. That's all. Mm. I'm getting there. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Dude, what was that super long like RPG map we played? Fuck that. Something downfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. It was. Fuck that shit. That was so bad. I went and did it again and did it in like half the time. I'm sure. Because I knew. Yeah, half the problem was just figuring out where we're supposed to go sometimes. We timed out like right there at the end. Oh, it was upsetting. And then I fell off the damn map. Fucked everything up. <laughs> Knock life, man.
unironically, the music in this game is so good. Final Fantasy always does it right. Got some real bops. Especially like the primal themes go so hard. I got super lucky, like literally like I think in my first run I got a table and the minion. Damn. And I got out and I sold no maybe it was my first two runs, but I got out and I put the table on the market and I used that minion and I haven't seen a literal I haven't seen any loot besides like those dumbass fireworks since. Yeah. I wanna get the sewer skink. I don't know what the hell are you doing up there, man. Left lift, select first option, select second option. Seems easy enough. Well, that's two different runs. You just select left in one run, then select right in the other. top of the damn wardrobe out here. Oh no. Anybody but the Sabin tenders, please. Don't hit me with several thousand needles. <laughs> what the move was called, several thousand needles. I hate this enemy. This enemy type. Attack me too. Oh. It's kind of flick the fingers at you. Get out of here. So it's going to be the same boss. It loops back through right here. I what the mechanical difference is going to be. Messages engraved in the common tongue. In the beginning, the Lord of the Inferno shared with us his flame. Speak the name of the gift he bestowed upon our bloodline. The Blessed Spock. Unbeliever, you will proceed no further beyond from this place. I've not come this far to let a door turn me away, break it down. Hell yeah. <laughs> Get that shit out of my way. Ain't no door gonna stop me.
Let's go fight the more pissed off version of the zombie Amalza because I disgraced his god. Fern Gale. That's a knockback if I've ever seen one. What are you doing, Nala? See? The knockback. Was that just too far away? It just didn't knock me back? What happened there? What happened? Is making a point to lay directly in front of my door where I can see him. Literally, just like in the doorway. Just got a little rotisserie chicken. <laughs> It does from Walmart every once in a while. Those things are so good. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Dude, the Walmart food, like the, like the hot foods you can buy, surprisingly affordable. General so chicken. Surprising. I remember when I was working at GameStop, uh, I had like a Walmart gift card for some reason. And uh, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to use it to get myself some lunch from like the, the hot counter. I'll be damned. I got like a whole bucket of chicken. And I was like, yep. I don't know, maybe $10? Just incredibly affordable. Also really tasty. Dude, how did your, uh, how did your latest podcast go? I saw it pop up uh, in my feed this morning. Watch it though. <laughs> um, I don't remember which one it is because I think that's the second to last one we've done. Oh, we've it was just uploaded like already. late last night. Yeah. But they've all been pretty good. We just kind of hang out, talk. That's good. Haha. That's hot. Huh? 
Dude, I can't believe Derek made his character on the wrong server again. <laughs> it's the right server, it's the wrong world. Right data center, wrong server. Is that right? Yeah. Then yeah. Boy, I got the card again. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, in father's stead. Complete. I have to do it one more time, and I'm done. Oh, snap. That's what's called Uldaz Sin to Bear. I do the exact same thing, but instead of uh, answering the question wrong, I answer it right this time. Oh. And, uh, and that's that. Almost three and a half hours of this now. Excited, I'm almost done. Like, every single time I do my AoE attacks on Warrior, I'm like, God, this class is good. <laughs> it does so much damage. It really does. It does a ton of damage. They have a really good self-heal. Plus, my axe looks sick as fuck. <laughs> Look at my axe, dude. I do look pretty badass. It's the first relic weapon they ever dropped for Warrior. They release they release all classes, like they all they release relics at the same time for all classes. But this comes from the very first set they released. This is the Warrior one maxed out. It looks badass. It is by far just the sickest axe that I've seen for the class. They really fucked up by dropping it. I'll never <laughs> use another axe.
It's been a long ass stream, my dude. Yeah, it's been that long. I mean, it's long for me. Yeah. I don't know, I had like a... I did like a 12 hour stream on my birthday. That That's was long. I don't remember what all I did on it. Uh, no, I do remember actually. We did like some party games. We did like Scriblio with like Dev and Jude. I don't remember that. That was, that was fun. Yeah. I like that car game. The, the little viewer racing one? Yeah. Did we play that, that on my birthday? Just... I think we also played that on my birthday. Yeah, that was fun. I liked it a lot. Doing those takes it out of me so quick because I'm like constantly talking. Because there's nothing else yeah. I can do, you know? Like I'm, I'm literally watching a race happen, so I'm like trying to commentate it. Yeah. Streaming That's already like sucks my social battery. <laughs> Cause I'm just talking like the whole time, you know. About nothing. Yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to be engaging, not just like be one of the dudes who just sits there like blank face staring at his screen, just quietly. I do that sometimes. It's easy if to, I have to out. focus. Yeah, if I'm like close to dying or anything, I I like completely. Mouth well, it's, it's different if you're like doing something and focusing super hard, but like if you just oh, yeah. don't say anything like ever, like you're just completely quiet, you better be like the most cracked gamer if you're gonna try and maintain an audience. <laughs> yeah. I do that shit though when I'm like, when I'm trying at a shooter, I'd hang my mouth open, my tongue's all flopping around inside my jaw. Yep. <laughs> it looks so weird, man. If I'm playing Rocket League and I get too into it, my mouth is just wide. And I can't, I can't not. Like, you know, it just happens. I know. I know, brother. I feel, I, I feel you. My food is ready. Yeah. I'll be back. Chicken fried I'm on coming. it? Well, chicken fried on it? Woman. Left lift, and we select Sacred Fire. Left lift, Sacred Fire. Now we beat the Zombie Amalgia one last time. Almost done, chat. Make it dismount. Call it a stream for now. I might be back again later. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Might be some Left 4 Dead tonight. Some Left 4 Dead or some Hunt, maybe.
sacred fire. One last fight, chat. Chicken Fredo. Fredo. Best friend. On the last fight, Brandon. Oh, snap. Brandon! That's Honey Bun likes to call you. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is that? It's just gonna be like a line alley, I assume. Okay, yeah. Where are you picked? Risk of Rain 2 is another game that has just like a crazy soundtrack. I don't know if I've heard the soundtrack to that. Oh snap. Uh, it's so good, dude. It's so good. Might have to. Transcendent. Which might be the best praise you can give a piece of music, honestly. Pulls my front flip though. Yes, yes, yes.
take the point. What's up, groceries? Good morning, buddy. You showed up in just enough time for me to finish doing what I've been working on all morning. Dig deep. The sealed in subterrain, baby. That's it. That's it. Ugh. Oh, nice. And then I open this and I get a minion. Or not. <laughs> we open the achievements. We do last five. Unclaimed mount. Use that. We got a silky whistle. Check his bad boy out, Brandon. <laughs> like sneak in a stream while I'm sleeping. It almost worked. That was that was my goal. I finished my goal. I was just I was just getting this little mount right here. I also got this last night. Groceries, check this bad boy out. Oh, and the music for it, dude. Oh, so sick. <laughs> That is a cool. Uh, that, that is really cool. I like that. The lantern or the music? The lantern and the music. I like that it in its mouth. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a demon possessed paper lantern, but it has, uh, as the as the mount description says. Mm -hmm. Contrary to expectation, this lantern ghost did not care to haunt people and was content to simply wander Mount Rakan. When it saw you similarly wandering, it took you for a kindred spirit and decided to follow you wherever the wind should blow. The music is so good for it, though. What is that instrument? Like, what is that called? Do you know? Oh. I can close my notepad. That's not just a regular flute, though. But groceries, this is what all I did. <laughs> to do all this, I had to do 12 runs through that. That's not just a regular flute. No, 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 no. I mean, like, I mean, I'm talking about the flute sound, but it's not just a regular flute, though, because it has, like, that, like. It's like the same. It's like the same instrument they used, like the Naruto theme song. It's got like that kind of like high pitch to it. Like it's got like the, like kind of like the up note on the end. It's not just a regular flute. There's no way. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, right, Brandon? Yeah, I was listening, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know what it would be if not a flute. The most prominent instruments in the Naruto theme are electric guitars, shamisen, shakuhachi, violins, an assortment of drums, and a male chorus. What is a shamisen? Oh, that's like the little that's like the little plucky guitar thing. What is a shakuhachi? That's it. It's this thing oh. right here. A Japanese end blown flute. Made out of bamboo. That's so cool. That's, that's got to be the. That's the instrument I was talking about. Tarkov TV in an hour and a half. Totally not why I'm here. Yeah, Yoshu was mentioning it. I've never watched him. I literally is it is it like a Nikita? Is it like an official EFT thing? I've never seen a Tarkov TV. Oh, listen to that, dude! It just sounds so good. <laughs> it literally makes me think of like Naruto. I really need to catch up on Baruto. Uh, I have not watched any of it, and I don't think I ever will. 
I've just seen little clips on Facebook that are they look good. I've seen some clips that look okay, but I've seen a lot more clips that look really bad. Yeah. So, I'm not hating uh, on it personally. I've just it doesn't look like it's for me. I've seen some cool stuff so far, but it's nothing like Chaputin. Mm-hmm. Yet. I mean, I'm hoping it gets there. Uh, I think I'm going to raid out to Fatty, who stopped by the stream earlier. Oh, shit. Fatty Mick Muffins. He's playing some Magic the Gathering. Nice. Stop by, give him some love. Um, he's a cool dude. Uh, he is playing the uh, Magic the Gathering Arena. I've played a little bit of it. I'm not a big card game person. That's also super complicated as Magic is. So he said they reworked all of it. So I don't know. Maybe at some point in the future I can get back into some Magic the Gathering. But uh, you guys give give Fatty some love. I've only played like three games ever. I forgot that Raid still has the uh, the Raid Shadow Legends thing. Yo, Brandon, copy that message, and then when I raid to Fatty, uh, post it in his chat. Oh, what just happened? Yes, Nikita, another dude in a face cover who was previously effed up and broke both his legs while showing us new guys in junk. I, I do know what you're talking about. I've seen, I've seen that guy before. So it is an official Tarkov thing. Um, I probably still won't watch it, but Yoshi said he'll update me on anything cool that's coming out, so... Maybe they'll finally say something about wipe and people will shut up. Either way, I've already started this raid, so I'm going to raid out. Did you get that copied, Brandon? Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. We're going to post that in Fatty's chat, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate the company. Have a good day.